Really no surprise here. Dry weather across Colorado has really fueled all these wildfires. It certainly has. Meteorologist Liz McGiffin joining us now with how the uh, how this is this and really the weather in general has impacted the latest drought monitor. Liz. Well, whether we're talking drought monitor or fire relief, rain is going to be the biggest thing that we need in order to lower those conditions. Throughout the month of July, we only picked up 1.1 inches of rainfall out at DIA. Now, I want to point out, while yes, we did pick up rain, it was below that 2.14 inch normal. So the month as a whole, a little bit more than an inch behind. Now, annually, we are just barely sitting above the norm. So, so far this year, Denver area has picked up 9.83 inches of rain. Normally, it would be closer to 9.57 inches. So that near quarter of an inch above above normal for the year. It did help us out at some point. In fact, throughout the spring months and especially throughout the winter, it kept dry conditions at bay. You'll notice though the Denver area as we wrapped up the month of May, that's where we started to see those abnormally dry conditions start to creep in, not for the Denver Metro, but more so out toward Fort Collins and then off toward the Eastern Plains. Those dry conditions continued to expand moving into the month of June. Well, that's where the Denver Metro. It was the north end that started to see those abnormally dry conditions start to sink in. Pretty much the entirety of the Metro by June 13th saw abnormally dry conditions spread June 20th, not only abnormally dry conditions, but that level one or moderate drought conditions and kind of that tan color started to move in. Notice wrapping up the month of June, abnormally dry conditions down into the springs. And then not only were we talking moderate drought conditions as we headed through the month, month of July, but that orange color, that severe drought or that level two drought that started to stretch from north of Denver all the way up toward Fort Collins. End of July toward today's update starting off the month of August. Notice that orange color starting to reach a little bit more into some of the northern foothills. Denver Metro, though, we're still under that level one drought concern. So that's why we're continuing to say that we need the moisture out there, not only for relief from the drought conditions, but of course for those active wildfires. As we look ahead to the next few days, thankfully there is a few more chances for rainfall out there as we start to move into a more monsoonal moisture pattern. And of course, Chief Meteorologist Dave Frazier will have a look at the timing of those showers and when we could start getting some of the rain even here in the metro coming up. Yeah, we really need all the moisture we can get right now. Liz, thank you.